What's up guys, it's Project, and welcome to my weapon guides for Monster Hunter World. These guides are aimed specifically at the best combos of a weapon to get the most DPS out of them, but I'll also explain the mechanics and role of a weapon for new players to get a better understanding about the weapon they plan to use. Before I begin, just know I play the PS4 version and have my controls to swap R2 with R1, so whenever I refer to R1, it's R2 if you're using the default scheme or whatever it is on Xbox. I also did every test naked, no armor or charms equipped, nor buffs used. The game is finally out and it's time to start cranking out some missing guys over the next week or two, so here's a guide for the Dual Blades. The Dual Blades are the Animu Swords of Monster Hunter and are a cutting weapon type with lightning fast attacks and high mobility, making it super fun to play. Despite the hits being low damage, you attack so fast the numbers rack up and actually deal some high DPS. However, due to so many hits, these weapons are the worst when it comes to sharpness, as you lose sharpness much quicker than any other weapon, so keep that in mind. DBs have three modes of play, Normal, Demon Mode, and Arch Demon Mode. When in Demon Mode you gain whole new movesets of attacks compared to Normal, and you also are much more mobile with evades and such. The trade-off is it drains your stamina slowly while active. While in Demon Mode, certain attacks will fill up the gauge, and once full will activate Arch Demon Mode. This mode is basically normal mode but enhanced power, as well as getting some moves from demon mode. Despite that though, demon mode is by far the best mode to be in always when you can, the other modes don't really compare. Before I move on to the combos, I'd like to point out a move called Demon Flurry Rush. This can be used in demon or arch demon mode by pressing circle, and it's a really good spinning slash attack that covers a great distance, and unlike an evade, it doesn't consume stamina, and it's also bounce proof so definitely make use of it as an evasive option to get out of harm's way or reposition to a better part on the monster to attack. It even has a cool feature when used against a special wall or tree you can jump from where using an attack into it will make you climb then dive off with spinning slashes. It's really cool. For forging, dual blades are really powerful with an elemental stat on them, so definitely take advantage of a monster's elemental weakness to shred them up. Also, don't forget sharpness. The more green or higher sharpness tier it has, the better. Handicraft is a good skill found on armors or charms to extend the sharpness bar. Combo 1 The best DPS combo is the simple triple triangle into blade dance in demon mode, and then you repeat the combo. This will yield more damage than simply spamming blade dance all the time, just prepare for sharpness to tank. Blade dance locks you in place, so keep that in mind when using it. You don't want to start it and then just get hit before you finish the attack off. I don't recommend evading after blade dance in this combo, due to it eating a ton of stamina, which means less time in demon mode, and its repositioning is pretty bad if you want to focus on one spot. You can nearly do the combo twice to a monster from a knockout or trap, so definitely use this in those moments for huge deeps. And triple triangle in demon mode is the fastest way to build the gauge for arch demon mode. Combo 2 Combo 1 is pretty much the best stuff to use for single attacks or combine together against a monster, however, here's an alternative to mix things up, though damage isn't nearly as good. This also hurts your thumb since you constantly spam triangle, but you essentially attack non-stop with no delays. It makes use of phase slash which allows you to move left or right, so it's pretty good in moving you along a big monster's body, and you can switch between left and right to stay in the same position mostly. Just remember to start the combo with triangle without touching the left thumbstick. Then after pressing triangle you can hold the left thumbstick either to the left or the right to always trigger the fate slash. Otherwise you'll just end up doing triple triangle. Combo 3, combo three. And lastly combo 3 utilizes demon flurry and can be used in demon or arch demon mode and is super mobile. This is great to use on a monster that's limping away, allowing you to go alongside it while still delivering damage. Just remember to press triangle at least twice in demon mode, otherwise you do the lock flurry instead. Similarly, don't press triangle more than two times, otherwise you do the finisher that I warned about in combo 2, which locks you in place and breaks the fluidity of the combo. If you have the water blight or ice blight effect on you, then using this in arch demon mode is fairly nice to use till your stamina goes back up again. But outside of combo 3, as I said, the other modes are pretty lame compared to demon mode, so just stay in demon mode as often as you can. You can always turn demon mode off the same way you turn it on, so make use of that to conserve stamina in between chasing a monster that walked more than 10 feet or so from you. 
Of course, I can't end the guide without mentioning the super flashy Attack on Titan Levi Sliding Slash of Doom. This is actually Dual Sword's most damaging attack, and depending on angle and monster, can send you down their entire body and potentially cut their tail off for an epic scene. So definitely take advantage of it when you can. But that is it for the guide, hopefully it helped you in learning and using the weapon effectively faster than ever. So put on your hidden leaf headband, activate your inner weave, and do the Naruto run all over the new world. If I missed anything important in the video, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to pin it if it's something major. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below with any questions or how much you're enjoying the weapon thus far. I would love to hear that from you guys. I would also love for you to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to click that hunter's bell so you don't miss any cool videos from me. As always, I appreciate the support and remember, a hunter must hunt.